What's up guys, Brandon from Illusions Mobile Order Spot with yet another video. And today's topic is going to be something that is a little bit more personal and unusual, but let's talk about it. Matter of fact, let me make you an offer you can't refuse. So, I've been hearing this going on and on and on all over YouTube, trending videos, and nobody really wants to tell the truth about it. And what am I talking about? Should you open up a detailing business in 2024? Should you? What, what do you think? I think not. And let's just dive into why I do not think you should not open a detailing business in 2024. Let's go back to all of these detailing videos. There's a lot of new detailers that are coming out onto YouTube. And everybody thinks that they're a detailer now. Everybody thinks they're a pro. You haven't even been doing detailing for more than a month and you act like you got 10 years of experience. I've been doing this for over 10 years and I have built up my business to a reputable company where I can say it's successful, but am I rich from it? No. So let's go into the truth. A lot of these guys are coming in and making these videos telling how much they make a day. Hey, I'm John Doe with John Doe Business and I make $1,000 a day from doing a ceramic coating in two hours, blah, blah, blah. How to make $800 in two hours. Guys, listen to the bigger picture. It's misleading. These detailers are painting a certain picture for you newbies out there, for you to just come into the detailing world and think that you're automatically going to be successful. It does not work that way. Believe me, I've been in this for a while and things are the worst than they have ever been. Take a good listen. Do you hear that? You hear nothing. There's no phone calls. There's no emails. There's no inquiries. We are in dead of winter, but unfortunately something is out of the unusual. Winter is a slow month. Yes, it is. Absolutely. But whatever's going on with the economy, these wars over in Russia, uh, the Israeli war, Gaza, all of this stuff is having an effect on the economy. The inflation, the cost of living is impossible. The prices of groceries are impossible and it's just creating a harder time for people. So people do not have that extra money to spend on the luxury of detailing. Hence, which is why this is a bad time to open up a detailing business. So guys, who are you going to believe? You're going to believe the guy that's giving you the real information or are you going to believe the guys that are coming out and making these videos that making you believe that you're going to make $800 a day. If $800 was happening a day, listen, trust me, I would not be living in this apartment. I would have my own house. Trust me. Okay. And another thing that a lot of these detailers do not talk about, they do not talk about the fact that they are not paying taxes. Yes. Mobile detailing or detailing in general is not excluded from any type of taxes. Yes. You got to pay Uncle Sam, doesn't matter. Interior detailing, car wash, you guys are taking cash from these clients and the majority of you guys are not even registered to the state of New Jersey. A lot of your businesses are not registered in general. And here it is, you're going out, you're detailing now, and you're just taking cash. You're under the grid. So who are you going to believe? It's a shame that these guys are painting this perfect dream picture just to get likes, just to get subscribers. And if I was you, if I was a subscriber and I was listening to that garbage, what would I would do? I would unsubscribe. And I would take a good look around and see that, listen, wow, this guy right here is really giving us that information. What's here is knowledge. Knowledge is power. And you guys need to wake up. Stop it with these videos that are misleading people because you're ruining people's lives. I watched a young man on YouTube, basically had his hands on his head like this. Oh, you know, I shouldn't have opened a business. I left my job to open up a detailing business. And it's not what I thought it was because the guys in the video said, blah, blah, blah. You do your own research. You be smart. 
Don't quit your job and just think that you're going to hop into the detailing business and it's going to be an instant success. It takes time to build up your reputation. Regardless of how many videos you put out, regardless of how many Google ads you put out, it does not work like that. It just doesn't. And why am I telling you guys this? So you don't make that mistake that a lot of these young guys are making. Yes, everybody wants to be their own boss. Absolutely. But take it from me. It's a very slow time right now. I'm hurting. And it's affecting a lot of detailers around the world. Nationwide. I'm like on my last few thousand dollars. I don't even know if I will still be in business after the next few months. Because I don't know what's going to happen. Business has been that slow. Right now, it's survival. And this is the honest to God truth. I'm not going to put out a video and, and question, hey, yeah, I think it's the best time to open up a detailing business because it's not true. I got, what, 685 subscribers. Great. But I am not going to try to get subscribers by misleading people and telling them that, hey, yeah, if you get in right now, if you click that link and you subscribe right now, and you take this tutorial, you will make $800 a day as a detailer in no time. Do not believe it because you will be making the biggest mistake of your life. Keep your current job. Maybe do this detailing as a side gig for now until things get better. Until you build up a solid clientele. I have about a thousand clients. But guess what? The emails that I'm sending out, the... Uh, uh, Coupon code offers such as promotions, like for example, I have a promotion out that says, hey, you book an interior detail and you get a free complimentary exterior car wash. Hey, that's a hell of a deal. But guess what? Out of the thousand emails that I sent out, what, only one person booked? People are trying to hold on to their money. People do not have that extra cash to throw away. Again, luxury, uh, mobile detailing is a luxury. It's not a necessity. And if people, if things are tight for a lot of families and people are holding on to their money, mobile detailing is going to be the last thing that they think about. And lastly, I just want to point out another thing that's adding to the fuel is you have a lot of people opting in for the unlimited car washes. Unlimited car washes are becoming a problem because people are saying to themselves, well, why spend a couple hundred dollars on a detailing job when hey I can just keep my car clean all the time and just pay $30 a month and go to the unlimited wash club at your local car wash guys do your research okay do your research and think before you just take that action and quit your job because right now is not the time to be quitting your job you quit your job you open up a detailing business you buy all this equipment you know spend everything in your bank account and all of a sudden the phone lines are just quiet. There's no customers. Nobody's contacting you. There's an oversaturation of detailers. Everybody wants to be a detailer. Everybody wants to be a home cleaner. Things are changing, guys. And this video is only out of love, to be honest. That's who I am. That's how I was raised, to be honest and transparent. Do not... Just jump into this. Take my advice on this. Take it with a grain of salt. If, if I'm hurting and there's a lot of other detailers hurting, ask yourself the question, why would you jump into something that just is not in a good position right now? I may lose everything tomorrow. If things don't pick up, hey man, it's no more Brandon from Illusions Mobile or the Spa. That's it. It's over. Game over. Regardless of how much money you may have saved, if no customers are coming in, hey, it's back to that nine to five. You gotta survive. So guys, I hope this video helps you out a lot to make your decision as to whether you wanna open up a business, uh, detailing business 2024. I really don't have much uh, other information to say. It's sad right now, it's a hard time, it's rough, it's rough. And I'm hoping that things do pick up to the spring. But it looks like we're going to have to try to ride this wave out. Because I don't know if things are going to get any better unless things change. 
unless interest rates come down, people start getting uh, money to spend. <sighs> Guys, thanks for watching. Take care.